chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Open up my book. Yes. Chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Il y a étant tout. Étant toutes choses sur les temps sous les cieux. Étant pour naître. Étant pour mourir. Étant pour planter. Et étant arraché. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. The word of God. You may be seated. Our subject for today is wait for your moment. The book of Ecclesiastes was written by Solomon. The richest king at the moment. The word Ecclesiastes means in Hebrew, Kohelet, which means the preacher. After all the experiences that King Solomon went through, he then realizes that everything in life has a special moment. The life of a Christian is guided by God. And the favors of God is fixed for each and every creature. Our life sometimes we search in a rush. We are rushing to do things that should be waiting. We want to get there before it is our time. At times we see that our neighbors have things and we want to have it also. And we are forcing ourselves to have that. Without that it's not a moment. You need to understand that it's not your time. God has fixed a special time just for you. A time for you to advance in life. A time for you to have success in your life. And a time for all your dreams to be accomplished. And, all, and a time for your sadness to turn to joy. Many times we see that life is impossible for us. And the problem is us. We are being hit by problems day by day. But I'm telling you today, God has fixed a day for you to have joy in your life. Don't be discouraged in the problem. Do not give up. Because God has a special moment for you. Today, maybe it's time that you are creating. But tomorrow will be the day that you get what you've been waiting for. And only one thing he asks of you is be patient. In Galatians 5 verse 22, patience is the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible mentions certain men and women who had great patience, like Job, though he was suffering, but he never cursed the name of God, according to James 5 verse 11. We have a woman who was very patient, and her name was Ruth. Ruth was married with a man, and the mother-in-law was still alive. Back in the old days, when you married with your husband, they passed, the in-laws can send you away. So the mother-in-law told me to go back to her country. There was two women. One left. But Ruth decided to stay with the mother-in-law. Ruth said to the mother-in-law, Wherever you go is where I will be. Your people will become my people. And your God will also be my God. And Ruth decided to live with her mother-in-law. And her country. 
And toward the end, Ruth ended up married to one of the richest guys on earth. Siri did not have patience to wait. She would not have been married to this guy. Ruth used her patience. Hebrews 6, verse 16, and 15 and 16. Abraham had patience. Even though he was at old age, God said, I will grant you a son. And Abraham waited. Even though his, his wife asked him to sleep with another female, but he had a child that was not the child of promise. But he waited for the promise of God. And he then waited and had the baby that was promised. Abraham had great patience. Today, churches need to have patience. Nowadays, every little problem that attacked us. We ask God questions. We ask why us? Why us? But God has a plan fixed for you. You have your moment. Our life is like a clock. And your time will come regardless. Do not let your neighbor's things make you envious. Do not force yourself to have things when it's not your moment. At times in life, we go and we see things without you waiting, without it, without it being your moment. And you force yourself to have it. And today I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my youth, wait for your time. If you see another friend have something in the school, don't force your parents to have it. If your friend has a nice tennis shoe, you can talk to your dad. But don't force them to have that that moment. Wait for your time. Do not touch what does not belong to you. If you see someone else with something, you should just grab it. Because the consequences will be great. Police will be involved. And your future will be a mess. The reason I'm saying this is because in the United States, once you've gone through the law, they took your photo. They took your fingerprints. And you may be a child, yeah. And you have not paid the consequences. But when you get older, you will pay the consequences. One thing that you guys need to do, listen to your parents. Listen to your parents. A lot of kids who does not make it today are those that are disobedient and not listening. Your parents always want what's good for you. No parents hit their child. But the problem that we face today is that our children think that the parents And that is why they cannot wait for the moment. They are in a rush to experience what life has to offer. And they fail. And that child who wanted to go, little one come back to the parents' house. A perfect example is a neighbor, he's one of my neighbors. As soon as the child turns 19 years old, he left. He bought a vehicle. He bought some motorcycles. And after three years, the neighbor told us that he's coming back. How did I know? Because he wanted to park a vehicle in my backyard. And uh, my neighbor told me he is happy that he's come back because he had done it all. And he said he had come back home. I tried to talk to him. He said, well, I've come back because I need the help of my parents. But did he think before he moved out? Because he did not wait for his moment. He was in a rush to make the experience. And he failed through his experience. And the lesson for this, 
It's because your parents loves you. And even though he left the house, he upset his father. But the father welcomed him when he came back. And today, what I'm trying to tell you, you, is wait for your moment. Your moment will come. Don't be in a rush to do anything. Because everyone who's in a rush, you will fail. There's a patient proverb that says, The patience is um, sour, but the, the fruit is very sweet. And there are times when you're waiting for something, you suffer for it. But when you got it, you got it forever. Because you waited. Because you were prepared. Don't be rushed to buy a vehicle because somebody else has it. And you run to go buy it too. And three months later, you lose it. But if you take time to prepare yourself, you, you earn time to give most of the down payment, then you will not lose your vehicle. Patience can make you suffer, yeah. But the results is sweet. That is a story that I want to give to you guys before we It is an American who was named Colonel Sanders. He was the founder of what am I trying to say here? There is a time that is well fixed for you. Today you may be suffering. But if you stay and you persist, God will come through for you. He's got a plan for you. One thing you must do is don't be in a rush. Even if you start little by little, with patience, you will make it. Colonel Sanders had great patience. How many of you today would have quit saying, business is not for me? How many failed attempts he had? But he had patience. He held on tight. And he was able to die as a millionaire at the age of 90. And today I want you to know, whatever you touch has patience. Be persistent. Your time will soon come. Whoever don't see your time, it's people who are failures. When you quit while you start trying, don't give up. Students that's in school, school is not easy. Math alone can have you quit school. But be patient. Because tomorrow you will make your degree. Tomorrow you will have your degree. A perfect example is our friend here. College was not easy for him. Many, many things were not as easy for him. But he was persistent. And now he's able to bring his diploma to his mother. With patience, you will see your time. With what you're doing, the first thing that you need to utilize is to have patience. With patience, you will have success. With patience, with patience you will accomplish your dreams with patience. Tomorrow you will make a lot of money. Everyone who does not have patience, especially our youth, tomorrow you will suffer. But the youth with patience, you will keep trying and you will make it. Today my advice for you, be patient. Your moment is coming. People who's got business. You can start off slow, yeah. But the beginning is always hard. But in the middle, you'll be packed with customers. And all you must do. Be patient. Be patient. With patience, your time will come. May God bless you.